This is my wife, a huckleberry. And this is me. Tomorrow, we might kill the hangman's moose. <laughs> For not sure. It's 10.30 at night. My bag is packed for tomorrow. Mine's about halfway there. Eric's is. We're working on it. My clothes are there. We're gonna join the pumpkin patch. It's opening day of Modern Rifle for deer tomorrow. I have a multi-season deer tag, which is kind of cool. I've got a bear tag, you've got a bear tag. We both got bear tags. We both got cougar tags. I caught a lion track. There's like a female with kittens on uh, the Belmont side. But anyways, yeah. America. 5 a.m. Drinking my coffee. I'm going moose hunting today. It's weird to be. Hunting an animal that's once in a lifetime. Something completely new. It's early. We're gonna go drive a couple rigs around, park one at high elevation, park one at the bottom. Both of us will end up driving up to the higher elevation, and then we're gonna work our way down. It's a long walk. Long, long walk. That'll be good. We're after it. We are in Washington now. Hiking down our little trail. There's a bunch of sign in here, a bunch of poke and move sign already. We're gonna get into the Lake Creek Basin. Let's see what we can come up with. Mark's got a moose tag. Just kicked off.
He might pop out to the left. I didn't even see where it hit. So Mark just got back from looking for some blood. We we're walking down and stumble on a four by four, maybe a five by. And unfortunately, you see all this nice brush. Mark guy, uh, Mark's bullets. And, uh, have an effect, <clears throat> all this brush had an effect on the bullet. You can see that down limb right there, that's what I hit. So, I suck. <laughs> Everything happens for a reason though. That was a nice buck. I would have been happy to take that buck. Squared up on with a chip shot. Eric spotted him. He had like eagle eyes on that. I was just on, like I'm looking for black things. He's looking for everything. <laughs> and picked him up. Oh well, you know, day goes on. Gave Mark a little break. He just got back looking for blood, hoping to find something down there. But, you know, like he said, it's a plan for everything. So stay tuned. We're going to hydrate and then carry on. So it's noon. We're hunting the entire mountain range today. Uh, just covering a bunch of country. So fun fact, I missed a deer today. <laughs> A nice buck. The distance that I missed this deer was 182 yards. Now, for all you snipers that think you're really good, like I thought I was, make sure that there's no little sticks. Because that slam dunk <laughs> well, it just isn't a slam dunk. We got the whole damn thing on video. It's a shit show. But <laughs> the deer's alive, skinny little butt down there to go have a peek. And, uh, yeah, so everything happens for a reason. I think the reason I didn't harvest that deer today is because we're going to bump into a big moose here soon. It's hot. Um, had a close-ish encounter with a bull. And, uh, yeah, so this is how many steps we've done and how many miles we've walked. So we've got, we hunted in a new area today, awesome looking habitat, uh, didn't see a critter, so we're back to where we saw that bull uh, on Saturday, it's Tuesday now, uh, starting to feel the pressure hunting this tag, so not the easiest tag in the world, so we're going to go hike the two miles until we can get to ground that we could hunt. And I think we're going to get into one. There's a really nice bull back in here that we saw the other day, and there's probably a few others. So hopefully we can find a a respectable Shire's bull, get him killed on film. So that's the plan. I put the rest of my gear together, put the heavy pack on. Uh, we're going to go in, light on clothes. we got plenty of clothes to stay warm, and we're going to just kind of sit in an area until dark and hike out in the dark. So keep you posted. Day number five. So, like, how did it play out? Did you call him in? Like, come on, so, I'm start. I feel like we get here. me. All know? right, so <laughs> I'll tell you the whole day of the hunt. So, we started out, we hunted, quit at noon, drove all the way into Coeur d'Alene to buy an Inland Empire paper pass, which was a good call. Which was a good call. Um, hike up here, got up into the hunting area, what, about two o'clock? 1.30, and we hunted this slow. We like whitetail hunted it, but called. Um, so like we sat in the spot and then I was getting dejected and we were getting ready to leave and we decided to hike up a little further. And I was calling for like, I don't know, two hours, three hours. I was calling periodically every 15 minutes. Yeah, we, we, sit, we sat and stopped at that one spot and I got up behind you mm. and we were there for maybe 35, 40 minutes. And then we moved. And, and then, then we got up and moved and we were like, this is kind of done. And then. Yeah, anyways, just as we were about to leave, this bull comes from probably two miles away. 
and then hits the road and starts calling and is heading the other way. I call once. He crosses the creek, comes like, I don't know, probably 800 yards from where he was, and then comes, you know, full bore right to us. Uh, the wind was screwed up, so I'm like, what's the wind doing? What's the wind doing? So Murph said, all right, let's peel down. So we headed down the road, see the bull standing in, in this clear cut, just perfect. just perfect quartering away. Just looks back at us like and he's just looking back at us like what are you around here yeah he's <laughs> like i'm looking for some love and um you know asked Murphy if he was on him he got on him and then the rest is history He's gonna tumble around. He's dead. He's dead. He's oh dead. my He's god! Dead. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was really down, like, on this hunt. I'm like, this is a freaking hard hunt. A lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I bumped this bull a couple days ago, and then we came back in, nothing in here. And we called this bull in from a long ways off. He came running in, grunting, all sorts of upset. Cause I've been calling in here for like an hour. He came charging in, got the whole thing on film and made a couple perfect shots, dumped them. Dude, you have no idea. I've been like deep. What's everything, Mike? I don't know. I gotta call him. It's right by his body, I think. Like right on his body. All right, I love you. All right, save that neck meat and everything too. Dude, I have so much meat. I'm saving it all. I mean it though. Like, don't waste anything. I'm not going to. And did you cape it out? Yep. Okay. Look okay. at. I did tomahawk. I, I trimmed the ribs on one and did tomahawk steaks. Okay. Alright, so yeah, love you. Call me some call There's gotta be some call I'll go look. Love you, Mike. Love you, Mike. So, where are you? <sighs> Sitting in a Lake Creek basin. I got a chunk of moose backstrap cooking over a small fire and yeah so what's your guys's plan eric's bringing supplies and an, an extra back we got them broke down for the most part we have one more quarter to pull off and one more backstrap to pull off eric's down at the trailhead right now coming to help first break we've been butchering this thing since what 4 30 no yeah it's not an easy task yeah i get it fortunately we i'm eating Lord a piece of mercy. backstrap cooked on an open fire right now dude yeah, rub it in. sorry <sighs> meat 
meat everywhere. Mostly done. All right. Eric came to the rescue. Brought more 550 cord. We got a lot of meat. We've all taken a leak around this. We've been blaring country music. Mm -hmm. 